corridors to be opened for F-16s, Le Monde assessed ATA CMS strikes on Russian targets in Crimea. Following the arrival of US ATA CMS long-range missiles, the Ukrainian army has begun to destroy Russian air defenses in temporarily occupied Crimea as part of a campaign to block its logistics routes, Le Monde reports. It appears that despite Russia's increasing pressure on the eastern and northern fronts, the Ukrainian army, in accordance with President Volodymyr Zelensky's instructions, is pursuing the goal of making Crimea a liability rather than an asset a rear base, a center, an outpost. The peninsula remains the most important part of Russia's military position in Ukraine and Moscow's most valuable prize. But its relative geographic isolation could also become its Achilles heel. Closing the narrow logistical routes linking Crimea to Russia would make the situation untenable for the troops stationed there as well as for the units holding the southern regions of Kherson, Zaporizhia and Donetsk the publication says, according to the Ukrainian Army's Center for Strategic Communications, between mid-April and mid-June, about 15 S-300 and S-400 air defense systems were damaged in Crimea. It is noted that such an obvious vulnerability can be explained by the fact that ATA CMS quasi-ballistic missiles launched from HIMARS or M270 multiple launch rocket systems are capable of deviating from the standard arc trajectory, making rapid turns, and course corrections. They are capable of hitting the S-400, which was not originally designed for a serious anti-ballistic role, said Federico Borsari, a researcher at the Center for European Policy Analysis in Washington. According to Thibaut Fouillet, an employee of the Institute for Strategic and Defense Studies, the Ukrainian armed forces have been able to stabilize the front, but they do not have the ability to go on the offensive. So they are trying to act in other ways, and Crimea is the axis that offers the greatest opportunities. Philip O'Brien, professor of strategic studies at the University of St. Andrews in Edinburgh, added that all these losses on the peninsula could gradually force Moscow to deploy increasingly expensive and vulnerable resources in Crimea to protect its lines of communication. It is also possible that this campaign of methodical destruction of Russian air defenses in Crimea could eventually open corridors for F-16s to operate in great depth. Let us recall that, as Pentagon spokesman Patrick Ryder recently stated, the US position regarding the use of long-range weapons for strikes against the Russian Federation has not changed. Our policy is that the long-range weapons that we provide to Ukraine are intended for use within the sovereign territory of Ukraine. When asked whether this concerned occupied Crimea, Ryder recalled that the peninsula is part of Ukraine.